everybody. Uh, it's Maxine here. I don't quite have a test image done yet, but I have been working on debranding uh, the CentOS stream sources so I can redistribute the uh, system, the distribution. Uh, I've been using Rocky's guides and information about debranding Red Hat Enterprise Linux so I can have an easier time debranding CentOS Stream. I found out as far as I know uh, and as far as I've read out of the source RPMs I have to make the minimal distribution all I need to do is debrand like four source packages um, and maybe like replace some packages with new ones. Uh, one of the first source packages I'm debranding is CentOS Stream Release and I'm branding it with Challenger instead. Uh, that way I don't violate any of the CentOS Stream trademark <laughs> trademarks or CentOS trademarks. Um, I don't want to get in trouble with Red Hat or the CentOS Stream project about uh, trademarks. So I'm taking the time to double check and go over as far as I know the packages that need to be debranded. I'm sure I'll miss some and I'll have to uh, fix them in the future. But as of right now, there's like four packages. Um, one of them being the kernel source package, another one being GCC. Uh, I can't remember what the third one is. It's like libreport or something, I can't remember. So there's that one I need to debrand and uh, I need to make a new release package for Challenger Linux. Uh, I know I've been calling it a RHEL clone this whole time but I'm making the name uh, Challenger, I guess in reference to the challenge that's that I'm undertaking right now. Uh, there's that information about what I'm currently doing and what I've been working on a little bit today. Uh, so hopefully that goes well. Um, I think I already mentioned this in Twitter and LinkedIn posts. Uh, or maybe it was a YouTube comment, I can't remember. But on the uh, Koji for CentOS Stream, the Koji instance, uh, there were a few source packages I couldn't get that lined exactly up with Red Hat Enterprise Linux, but they were either maybe a little bit behind or a little bit ahead. ahead. So there's that to take into account. Um, I'm not going to be able to say this is completely binary and bug for bug compatible yet. There's work that needs to be done to ensure that. But as far as using the CentOS stream sources to build a RHEL clone, it's possible from some of the work I've been doing, I can see that it's possible. And I've also been thinking about, uh, changing some direction with it. Uh, I'd like to maintain Challenger Linux as an actual distribution and use it to play with doing new things like uh, getting Enterprise Linux onto the Pine Phone, doing a port for that. Uh, Fedora already has a port to the Pine Phone, so there's that upstream going on. Uh, another thing I'd like to do is port over to Risk Five. Fedora has also been working on that for a little bit, so that's also possible. Um, just have to do like a little bit of checks and stuff later down the line, but that's all like ahead in the future. Um, so that's something I want to do, is kind of play with new ideas 
within Challenger, since I'll have kind of a enterprise Linux clone base to, to work with. Um, I also need to get some infrastructure going at some point, like package repositories. I don't know how I'm going to exactly accomplish that yet because I don't really uh, have the cash to pay for a VPS or some kind of hosting service or anything. And I'm not sure about self-hosting as of yet. Um, so I don't know what I'm gonna do there. But I think one of the plans as of right now is to maybe have like a local repository for all the packages. Uh, that may be good for now. What are you doing, kitty? What are you doing? Anyway, um, my cat is being nosy. <laughs> I don't know what I'd do without him. But, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, I need to get some infrastructure at some point going for, uh, package mirrors and everything. Um, right now, when I do have an image, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna make it more like a Raspberry Pi image to where you flash it onto the boot device and then that's considered the install when it's not really like an install. But uh, it'll have basically a somewhat of a clone of uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux, the minimal install because that's what I've been basing all of this off of. Uh, in the future, there will be an Anaconda installer though, like an Anaconda image. I just have to get around to that. But when I make the first usable image, uh, I'm gonna send it to Jeff Gearling to do kind of a review of. Um, my nose is itchy. I'm gonna send that to Jeff Gearling so he can do a review of it. Uh, And I think that might have been all of what I wanted to say. I have never really made uh, videos before. So you have this little anxious person in front of you. <laughs> um, but that's okay. I'm sure I'll, I'll get better at it. Uh, it's a lot easier for me to communicate in text because I am such an anxious individual <laughs> but I think that's everything I wanted to give an update on about Challenger Linux I hope it all made sense because I got that little bit of anxiety uh, making me go off track a little bit I also wanted to just start the YouTube channel with some kind of video uh, and start growing that as well. That way people have different mediums to keep track of what I'm doing. So I've ha I have a Twitter, I have LinkedIn, I started on LinkedIn. Uh, I have a Twitter now, I have a Mastodon now, uh, and now I'm going to have a YouTube channel <laughs> to put content on. And I'm sure this isn't the only thing I'm going to be doing. Um, I want to, I've been wanting to kind of make videos teaching people things for a little while and I think what I'm going to do with Challenger is I'm actually going to start teaching people how a Linux distribution is built because from my experience it's very hard to find any information on exactly how a Linux distribution is working all on the inside and is built. I think the only good resource for getting a good grasp on it is Linux from scratch. And it's not always the most up to date. It's not always the most stable. It doesn't always work. Um, I've had to do a lot of troubleshooting in the past with different versions of the book. And so there's that. Um, 
It also doesn't go very in depth on getting an actual, I don't want to say usable because Linux from scratch is usable uh, when you get it all done. I want to say a more streamlined distribution that would be more tailored for a community to use. Uh, Linux from scratch is mainly just directed toward hobbyists who want to make their own distribution and have a little bit of fun and do a little bit of learning. But as far as actually making a distribution like Ubuntu or Debian or something along those lines, it's, you're going to have a little trouble with it. Um, so I want to start teaching people how to do stuff like that. And I've learned a lot myself with doing Challenger in this last week so far. <laughs> I'd say I've done quite a bit of work and a lot of learning. Um, I'm learning how uh, macros work in RPM packages and RPM source packages. Well, for the spec files, uh, I'm learning the different tools used to build RPMs for Red Hat Linux, Red Hat Enterprise Linux, Fedora, CentOS, Rocky, Alma. I'm learning that too. Uh, it's been a fun experience. A lot of tinkering and stuff for me. <laughs> um, I think that's it for, for sure. Um, so, bye.